G'day everyone. It was another action-packed week last week with some of the highlights being our Patriot Pals, our middle school band playing the national anthem at the Kannapolis Cannonballers game, sixth grade rocket launches, field days, the robotics awards, the sports awards night, and the TK and fourth grade moving up ceremonies, just to name a few. We had four athletes compete in the track and field state championships last Friday and Saturday. Congratulations to Mitchell Zametti, who took third place in the 400 metres. Our varsity girls soccer and lacrosse teams competed in their state championship games on Saturday. After an incredible season, our soccer team lost in the final to Hickory Christian. Our soccer players have so much to be proud of. Congratulations girls on an amazing season. We're all very, very proud of you. Our varsity girls lacrosse team won a tremendously hard fought win against Foresight Country Day. 15 to 13. This was our first ever girls lacrosse state championship and it was a nail biting game and a tremendous performance. Well done girls. You are all amazing. Thank you to all members of our community who stayed through the three hour rain delay to support our team. Your loud cheering helped our team get over the line. Please help me to congratulate upper school French teacher Heather Austin and her husband David on the arrival of Andrew James Austin born on Mother's Day, Sunday, May 8. Andrew was an early arrival and he and Heather are both doing well. The summer is an incredible time for our students to absorb what they have learned throughout the year, relax and rejuvenate, and prepare for the school year to come. So much is expected of our students every day and having time for some unstructured, relaxing time is vitally important. That being said, I think it is equally important for all adults watching this to give themselves permission to step back, unwind, unplug, and do things you enjoy doing. I encourage you to take a few minutes to jot down some things that you want to do that make you feel alive and renewed. Schedule these times on your calendar and go and do them. Go and stay overnight at a hotel by yourself, get a massage, go skydiving, take an art class, Whatever it is, find time to do it. Not only will doing things for yourself renew your reserves, it also sets an excellent example for your children and will show them that doing things for yourself is essential. For some of you, the thought of doing something for yourself seems radical. If this is the case, start small. Find time to read for 30 minutes or go and see a movie. In our fast paced world, self renewal can seem like a luxury. It is not, it's a necessity. As we close out the year, I want to take this opportunity to yet again thank all of our employees of Davidson Day for their unrelenting work. I'm continually humbled by their care and hard work. On behalf of the entire Davidson Day community, I want to thank you all for all you have done. I wish you, have, I wish you all a magical and relaxing summer. Finally, I would like to wish our seniors every success as they move on to college in the next chapter of their lives. We are all going to be cheering you on from a distance and can't wait to hear about what you achieve. Please come and visit us at Davidson Day whenever you are back in town. No matter where you go or whatever you do in the future, you will always be part of our Davidson Day family and we can't wait for you to come and visit us in the future. I hope you all have a beautiful summer. Go Patriots!